Hey everybody, this is Dave Beckdale, learningdslrvideo.com. Thanks to everybody that gave me tons of comments, and I got tons of comments. I read through every single one of them in terms of my parts list for my brand new computer to run Premiere um, Pro, uh, DaVinci Resolve Lite, and After Effects type of programs. Um, so I got my parts list together. Uh, I've set it in stone. Um, now I've got another kind of question for you guys because again, I am not a computer expert at all. My family thinks I am, but I'm definitely not. Um, is the hard drive configuration. And from my understanding, there's no one right way to do this. There's lots of different ways. Um, and I think I've got one in mind that I think will fit my style pretty well that I want to um, discuss with you guys. Um, this might also help somebody else who's trying to decide what they want to do in terms of their hard drive setup for large project files. So what I'm going to do is uh, kind of sketch out what I've got. Um, this is my the motherboard. And on the motherboard, um, I, got, I went ahead with the i7-3930 chip. Super fast. Um, expensive, and a lot of the parts I did go with are pretty expensive. Um, but I think it'll be worth it. And uh, uh, um, for the RAM, I'm only filling up four of the slots. Uh, 32 gig, uh, so eight a piece, and they are rated at 16 uh, megahertz, if that is the correct way to say that. And then uh, for a graphics card, I went all out and got the GTX 680 4 gig. Um, so from what I understand, all the information that's coming off the chip, going through the RAM, going to the GPU, bouncing around on the motherboard, it's all gonna fly. Um, I'm going to want to create a really balanced system here. Um, so what I understand, if I actually draw something that looks like a bottleneck, is the hard drives. And what I'm thinking of doing is actually having four hard drives. And those hard drives, we'll call this C, D, E, and F. And well, I'll go ahead and connect them. This will be connected uh, either eSATA 6 gig or 3 gig, depending if it's an SSD. So the first one, my C drive, is going to be an SSD. And it's going to hold all of my, my OS and my programs. So my programs being um, like After Effects, um, Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve Lite. On my D drive, and these recommendations are actually coming from um, a gentleman that I've been following for years on the Adobe forums. His name, and correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sorry if I'm going to get your name wrong, I think it's Harm Millard. I don't know where he's from, um, but uh, he's been very helpful. I even asked him a qu question or two over the years, and he's been extremely nice and answered a lot of great questions. So he's done a lot of research on this, and he's got, I think, called the Harm Monster. If you Google it, you'll probably find it. It's an amazing machine. Um, I actually have some similar components to, I think, what he's got. But in terms of his disk setup, so I'm. let's just talk about the disk setup. Uh, get me back on track here. Um, so my D drive, what he recommends, if you have a four drive setup, and I think he's kind of changed over the years in terms of um, SSDs and H uh, regular hard drives. This will be my three terabyte drive that I currently have where all, I have all my media and uh, project, and I think he's meaning project files. So that's where all of the, that information is going to be located. And this stuff, once you've put it on there, um, it's probably only it's only going one direction. It's going from the hard drive to here. It's just a read-only kind of configuration. Um, the SSD, obviously, up here is reading and writing a lot. Um, actually, I think it's mostly reading. Um, because the SSDs are usually, from what I understand, are around 450 uh, write and probably around 300 read uh, speeds. Whereas the regular hard drives are, I think, much slower, like around 150 write and maybe 140 read. Um, that's what Harm talks about in some of his um, forum posts. So going to the E drive, he talks about having a static, if I got this right, static page file. And I think that's where you assign your virtual memory uh, within Windows 7. I'm going to use Windows 7 Pro. And 
the exports. So when you, once you've gone and rendered something, I'm not talking about previews, but once you've actually rendered and finished the project, that's where it's going to go on eDrive. And eDrive is going to be an SSD. And this is gonna be my 480 that I currently have. The 40 gig, and up here, this is the 240. And my F drive will be a one terabyte, and it's going to be a regular hard drive. And this is where we have our media cache and our preview, preview. Um, these are like your renders uh, when you turn the red bar to a green bar in Premiere Pro and it turns green. The, and I think those are your XMP files. Your media cache is kind of like these small little files get um, written to and read from a lot, I believe. Like you got an IMS, a CFA, um, and I think you got a, yeah, that's an audio file. And I think the PEK is actually when it redraws the, um, the waveform in your audio. That's your peak files, I think it's called. So there's lots of small and there's, it, there's many different files. I think it's important to have good rewrite uh, speeds here, but um, I think the this is going to work better with an HDD. Maybe someday I'll do an SSD, but I think uh, longevity, I think that'll work. Um, like this SSD right here, SSDs are not known to be the most reliable thing, so if I totally lose that, I don't care. Um, these static page files, um, the exports will be offloaded from this drive to another drive after they're done. Um, and then in terms of the operating system, I don't really care about that much either because I can always reload um, from a disk image or you know reload from my CD, uh, CDs. Um, but the one I do care about most is my D drive. It has all my media and that one I'll be backing up regularly. So that's pretty much it. What I'm trying to do again is create a really balanced system. Um, and eliminate this kind of bottleneck going on. Um, so is this pretty much a good way to set it up? Uh, let me know. Um, Harm, I'm, if I mispronounce your name, I'm sorry. Um, if I'll definitely post this on the Adobe forums as well. Let me know if this is what you're kind of thinking. Um, I think this might be a good situation for me. In terms of RAID, um, again, I'm not a computer genius on this one, so I think I'm gonna wait later maybe a second step from this, because I can create, from my understand, create like a RAID 0 or maybe a RAID 1. I don't even know. <laughs> In terms of um, what I'll do with like my, maybe my D drive. Um, and I think you could do RAID 0 on all of these, but I would think that the D drive would be where you'd want to put uh, some sort of RAID, like a RAID 5, RAID 10, I don't know. All right, that's pretty much it. Let me know your thoughts. And um, once I get all the parts in, I will start assembling it. Um, and we'll create a video on that. And that'll be kind of interesting to see if I can do it because I've never done a computer build before. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.